So today, uh, we're open sourcing the first set of our Llama 3 models at 8 billion and 70 billion parameters. They have best in class performance for their scale. And we've also got a lot more releases coming soon that are going to bring multimodality and bigger context windows. We're also still training a larger dense model with more than 400 billion parameters. Mark Zuckerberg launches Llama 3 with exceptional benchmark scores. Llama 3 comes in two different sizes, 8 billion parameter and 70 billion parameter. And this is probably the most capable open model, open weight model in terms of the benchmark scores that we are seeing. So to quickly summarize what this launch is, that is exactly why I'm making this video. I'll make a detailed video where we'll actually try out the model and then show you the demo on Google Colab Notebook thanks to the 8 billion parameter model, which obviously we should be able to fit in Google Colab. To start with, Meta AI has launched the most anticipated, after a huge long wait, Llama 3. Llama 2 completely revolutionized what people did with open models. Before Mistral revolutionized, Llama 3, Llama 2 or Llama is the OG open model. And since that, everything has been doing good for open weights model. And Llama 3 is going to set a new precedence in that with new scaling levels. They have got two models, 8 billion parameter model and 70 billion parameter model. The 8 billion parameter model completely crushes every single other model in this particular benchmark or in this particular parameter level. It compares with Gemma, which is from Google and Mistral 7 billion parameter model, which is a model still I recommend to a lot of people. Like even today I was on a call and I was recommending the model. So this is a no brainer, complete winner with Llama 3 Meta AI's 8 billion parameter model. The MMLU, it has scored 68.4 while Mistral has scored 58.4. GPQA zero shot Mistral has scored 26 while Llama 3 has scored 34. Human Evil Llama 3 has scored 62, almost double of what they have scored on Mistral. And we have got GSM 8K and Math and all these benchmarks. You can see I'm not even looking at Gemma. Like I'm, I have completely almost forgot Gemma exists. If you leave Gemma and then look at Mistral, Llama 3 has completely crushed at 8 billion parameter model. How does it do with the 70 billion parameter model? It does a pretty good job when you compare it with Gemini Pro 1.5 and Claude 3 Sonnet. Claude 3 came with three different models, Haiku, Sonnet and Opus. Opus is the most expensive, like everybody was like going bonkers with that. But the most practical model was Sonnet and Llama 3 beats Sonnet on a multiple different benchmarks. MMLU definitely it beats GPQA. It beats Sonnet, but it doesn't beat Gemini Pro and Human Evil. Exclu like it just crushes it and GSM 8K, which is for math and it does a pretty good job. So given that this model Llama 3 has, let's say done pretty good job when you compare it with this Mistral and Claude 3, I wanted to also see how does it do with respect to the most recently released 8X 22 billion parameter Mistral model. So when you compare it with Llama 3, the 70 billion parameter model, once again, it does a pretty good job, better than what Mistral is doing, but you can argue that Mistral has got only 39 billion parameter active parameters, while Llama 3 will have 70 billion parameters. That's always the data that you want to talk about. But if you are going to use it for fine tuning, I think this is going to be a good base model when you compare it with even Mistral 8x22 billion parameter model, which has scored 77.75 on MMLU, while Llama 3 has scored 82.0 and like other benchmarks also GSM 8K Llama 3 has scored 93 while Mistral has scored 88.6. So overall, I think Llama 3 is a very capable, really good model. And if you want to try out Llama 3, Mark Zuckerberg or Meta AI has made sure that you can access it through a new assistant that they have launched. Like the color gradients almost looks like, you know, Cortana. I don't know how many of you remember Cortana here, Cortana or Alexa. I think both of them had a very similar color scheme here. So I, I don't know why the products that use this color scheme ended up uh, becoming RIP. But uh, anyways, uh, if you want to use it, they have launched their own assistant. You can use this assistant. And probably I think they will integrate it with a lot of other, um, uh, let's say products that they've got like Instagram and uh, WhatsApp and all the other things. And it is also going to do a bunch of things. For example, you can search on internet. They've tied up with Bing, I guess. So it, it gives you a complete suite of proper assistant if you want to use it. But if we turn our focus primarily on open source, so these models were built from the newly announced 24,000 GPU clusters. Now we know that why uh, Jensen and uh, Mark Zuckerberg exchanged their shirts like jackets, but uh, either way, 
This is a very good capable model. It is built with 15 trillion tokens of data. So that probably means that this should do a much better job with more fine tuning. So if they released both the base model and also the instruct fine tune model. So uh, it supports 8K context window, which is quite surprising to be honest, like with the models coming up with 32K, 64K, I'm looking forward to see how it is going to perform in drag task. But for generally like a raw, like an out of box large language model, I think I am more excited like because I'm GPU poor, I'm literally GPU poor and memory poor. So I am quite excited with Llama 3 8 billion parameter model. Can't wait to try it out. If you meanwhile try it out, let me know in the comment section what do you feel about it. See you in another video. Happy prompting.